Yo, 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 what's up, Bulls and Ghouls? JT coming at you with a DVD Blu ray update. Um, small, sizable stack, so only one Blu ray, the rest are DVD. Figured I would go ahead and update these because I've been trying to um, show, I've been trying to update and then watch, and then I got a whole system going on here. Once I watch it, it goes into the either onto the shelf or, you know, onto Goodwill if it's, if it's something I didn't dig or something like that from Dollar Tree or something cheap. But, Let's go ahead and do this. First, uh, mostly horror titles, a couple comedies. Let's do some of the cheaper titles here first. First up, Penance. Uh, this cover is extremely dark. It's got Tony Todd and Michael Rooker in it. Sounded kind of cool, but after watching the trailer, I probably should have watched the trailer before I picked it up. It's our. 2000 early what 2011 2009 something like that shot on uh not shot on video but uh found footage movie so not the biggest found footage fan i may check this out um i don't know we'll see now this one i'm excited to see this is actually a wild eye release and i dig wild eye stuff and this is rage of the mummy check out that cover art it looks like a uh iron maiden cover so this looks like a cheesy fun mummy movie and you know there's just not enough mummy movies out there in my opinion um i don't know looks like a fun time wild eye usually does good stuff so probably gonna check this one out today maybe <clears throat> next up let's do some comedies here i'm gonna blow through these it's gonna be a quick update i guess um first up childhood uh well actually i used to watch they still call me bruce all the time as a, as a child love that movie and i don't i don't think i caught they call me bruce the first one until i got i got older i think maybe as in high school or something like that and i seen it on tv um so they still call me bruce was a childhood favorite so i had to pick this one up and i don't think they still call me bruce is on dvd or blu-ray or anything like that yet um but this one i i can't remember the first one so i'm excited to check this out again and dive back into the, the series i do have the second uh, they still call me bruce on vhs somewhere back there so yeah this should be fun should be a good time hopefully uh, another comedy another child <laughs> now this one i shouldn't have been watching as a kid definitely but i did and that was this is a two-pack but i picked this up for night patrol now night patrol is a jackie kong directed movie she did uh the being and blood diner and some others and you know i always heard stories about her having to go into like a hiding or whatever because she owed people money don't know if that's true or not but night patrol 80s comedy gold this movie would never get made today it is a uh it, it's just politic politically incorrect in all the ways and <clears throat> yeah i love this movie as a kid uh and <laughs> It stars the unknown comic, which uh, he's he's the main character in the movie, but then he's also, uh, he does his comedy bits in here too. And it's just one of those 80s movies that's like a bunch of funny stuff filmed and then put together and it all makes sense and it, it comes together as like, kind of like, we'll say in the style of like a trauma movie, how there's just always like funny scenes and funny voice overdubs and stuff like that going on um, at different times. And then it all comes together and makes a great movie police academy actually this movie gets gets knocked on because of they they, they people say it's kind of like a police academy cash in but actually this was <clears throat> in production before police academy but then had issues and came out later but to me this is this is better than police academy I, i'm gonna say it I'm, I'm gonna say it so don't hate me i love police academy just as much as the next but night patrol this is fun um it also stars uh linda blair so you get you get some good Linda Blair action in this one. Now, I've never seen the second movie in this set, The Wrong Guys. Never heard of that, but it has um, Louis Anderson. You know, rest in peace, Louis Anderson. He uh, always watched the Life of Louis cartoon back in the day. So this could be fun. It looks like a fun time. I'll probably check that one out soon. Next up here, we got Night Feeders. Don't know much about this one, but looks like it could be fun. Um, Illumination Filmworks. No bare bones. So, yeah. Night Feeders, don't know. Could be good, could be bad. We'll see. <clears throat> and last but not least, we have on Blu ray my first Kino 
title. We got, this is a movie John 75 recommendation, Cannibal Apocalypse. Now this movie was awesome. 70s, I never heard of this until I, I seen movie John uh, talking about it. 70s cannibal, Vietnam, John Saxon, Italian, uh, awesome soundtrack, Italian soundtrack. This movie was just a lot of fun. This is an awesome release too. Kind of reminded me of uh, I Drink Your Blood. Along those lines. Yeah, super fun movie. Cannibal Apocalypse. Kino. Check it out. That's it for this update, guys. Thanks for watching. Got more reviews coming up. Uh, more updates coming up. So stay tuned. Peace.